Okay, hi traders, here's a new video. First of all, the risk warning, your invested capital might be at risk. Don't trade with money you cannot afford to lose. And this video is not an investment advice. So this video, you see we have weekend, market is closed. I'm a European trader, yes, and I do not have the OTC market available. And so I'm doing this kind of deep explanation video every weekend when I have some time um, uh, based on, uh, yes, because uh, I'm almost busy with my bot mentorship program and on the weekend I have some time and then I'm doing this kind of high educational videos which are bringing you those concepts much more closer uh, to you, uh, which I have explained in my ebook. And uh, we have not to lose any kind of time now. We're gonna start immediately and this video will be about understanding wicks in trading. Candlestick psychology, price action trading, and price action patterns. Yes, that are the topics of this video. And uh, yes, because I got so many requests from so many students, from so many subscribers, that they, they need to understand what the weeks are telling them. Yes, and important here is that you understand how to read this, and I will give you um, really deep insight again. Yes, that video will make it clear to you what. Wix are telling you and how you read them based on those kind of trades which I have done already yes in the week um, and uh, that was on uh, yes that was yesterday Friday Friday at uh, two o'clock I have traded those kind of uh, setups and uh, I will explain them in detail what I have done yes and um, yes I would say we start immediately and I will gonna explain you what's going on here so we got here a pullback yes we got a pullback here from the middle Bollinger Band in this kind of ranging market you see here the 200 EMA is flat and uh, we're coming from an uptrend then we got an arranging market and after this pullback the price started to do here some kind of uptrend you see that you see how the 100 the 50 and the 20 is getting steep upwards doing a band they're getting wider that are those all those kind of concepts which i have explained in the ebook and then we got here a breakout Yes, and we got a Bollinger squeeze and after the Bollinger squeeze we got a short consolidation area and then we are going into an upper trend. Yes, so till this level here. Yes, and here you see, first of all, I have to show you this, yes, um, uh, that you understand what kind of context concept um, concepts I'm talking about. Yes, so we got here consolidation area, then we got here the highest probability trading setup concept, yes, which is based on, um, uh, on the, um, uh, on the concept that um, the market is moving in waves and you see it's moving in waves yes and then after this it's almost a sign that there will coming up some kind of mina trend in this case a mina uptrend because we have a major uptrend in some slightly to arranging markets that what you have to understand is that you have mostly to rely on the 20 EMA. Why the 20 EMA? Because the 20 EMA is the fastest moving average. That means that this is the moving average which is moving the fast. If till the 200 EMA will move up, it will take at least 200 candles. Yes? And the same is valid for the 50 and the 100. This needs 50 candles, this needs 100 candles. So that what uh, only one which you can rely on, on price action based on, uh, on um, yes, um, in this case on on uh, one minute expiration time or five minute expiration time is a 20 EMA because that is the fastest moving one. If the 20 EMA is sleeping going up, then you can expect that price will continue to going up most of the time. Yes, but you have to understand that the EMAs, <coughs> sorry, that the EMAs are lagging. Um, okay, sorry. So that the EMAs are lagging. Yes, and that means if this going up steep, it means almost, yes, that is almost can be also over. Yes, so um, I show you now some concepts which you can immediately see only on this kind of image here. Yes, so we got here a few concepts and I would show you them, uh, yes, based on, um, on the ebook. So let me show you. Uh, if I can show you now those concepts. First of all, that the most important concept that is this one here, where I talked always about the, how to spot the highest probability trading setups and high probability techniques. As that you see here at the beginning, we have an evening star or a morning star. Here in this case, we have an engulfing candle, but here we have an evening star. 
and that is already the start of an uptrend okay so let me show you this again yes start uptrend mina uptrend okay that is where we are now here uptrend then we get here some kind of those patterns yes and those patterns are telling you what exactly that we have a continuation let me show you this so we have here this pattern what is showing this pattern this pattern is showing that we have a continuation yes and because this week is touching this round number here it means we have buying pressure Yes, that is what this is. This and also if it would have crossed this, it would have meant we have buying pressure. Not only because of the wick, also because we have here the 20 EMA which is pointing up. Yes, and we have also here the 50 and the 100 which is pointing up. Yes, and um, and we are above all EMAs. That means we are in an uptrend and we are moving here between the one deviation and the uh, two deviation volume line, which is also a sign that we are still into an uptrend. Okay. So that are those one, yes. The highest probability trading setup. Then we have here the evening star, obviously explained in the ebook too. Then we have here a fake breakout of the middle Bollinger band. Let me show you this concept because somebody told me, please show us uh, all the concepts um, uh, based on those kind of trades and those kind of things which you explained uh, in the videos. Here you have it. That's fake breakout. Morning star fake breakout. You see here support and resistance, Fibonacci, Bollinger Band, trend line, and here we are talking now about the middle Bollinger Band, fake breakout of the middle Bollinger Band. Here you see, and then we get here this kind of evening star. Minna of highest probability trading setup, trend continuation after an inverted bullish hammer. Yes, and then we got here at the end the next one. But before we are coming to this, we have here what the Bollinger Band is telling me, and uh, that is what this kind of concept is about. You see this, this is everything explained in this ebook. You find there everything what you need to uh, own the market. Yes, you have only to study those things. Yes, and uh, then you will get it done. So yeah, that kind of concepts. So Bollinger squeeze consolidation area. Yes, you see breakout expansion. Yes, and then we have also here uh, overbought, oversold based on the Bollinger bands. Yes, and that are those concepts which we are talking here. Yes, Bollinger breakout, Bollinger squeeze consolidation. And then we have a minor uptrend and breakout. After this, what we got here is nothing else than a, a evening star in combination with the no rejection um, uh, setup. Let me show you this no rejection trading setup, which I explained also in detail in this ebook. Yes, and uh, I will get uh, to you later about the topics about the uh, price action buy because I get so many questions, always the same questions. I don't know what the uh, what the uh, subscriber are doing, what those audience is doing, yes, but they are mostly not doing that what I am expecting. They should watch my latest videos, then they would uh, see the difference. So let me see here. That is a no rejection trading setup. You see, it's not looking one to one equally, yes, because that is what the concepts are about. Concepts are ideal. That is ideal here, yes. That is only you have to understand how it works. So you have this kind of concept here and look at this concept. We have an upper shadow, yes, which is stopping at the resistance. We have a second candle, which has a longer lower shadow, yes, which is showing selling pressure, yes, and the sub upper shadow, which is touching the resistance. And what is the next candle? <clears throat> what will be the next candle after a long uptrend? Yes, a put. So what will be here the next? Yes, what will be here the next? A put, yes, that is what this will be. So easy, yes, so easy. You see here on this live chart, you can apply my concepts from the price action guide and from the price action Bible one to one. You don't need even to to switch on your brain. Not even this, you need this. You can, <clears throat> if you switch on your brain, you will get much higher uh, success rates, winning ratio, yes. But if you are trading those concepts, like I have explained that in the ebook, you will manage it also without brain, yes. That is only applying concepts which I have explained in the ebook, yes, in the price action guide and the price action Bible. If you are really 
a little bit more retarded, you can use the uh, price action bible, yes, because there's explained everything in detail. If you are a little bit more smart, you can use the price action guide. There are only the illustrations. I will get uh, on this later uh, more de 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 in detail, but in general, it doesn't matter if you have the price action guide or the price action bible, you have only to apply the concepts and then you get your in the monies. And I don't know why so many are failing, yes, I don't understand this. And why they are wondering that uh, I have this kind of good uh, winning ratio. It's only because I'm applying my concepts each and every time when I'm trading. You have seen here in this kind of area. Yes, I have explained to you five, six, five uh, concepts. Yes, I not uh, even cared about this concept here where I talked about the EMAs. Yes, because if you are already using the EMAs, you can use this. Yes, so let me show you this uh, concept too. And then obviously this concept, let me show it. That are those concepts. You see, it's like working like a gear. You need to know some concepts. Yes, without concepts, you will not succeed in the market. You have to understand those things which I'm explaining in my ebook, those things which I'm showing in my uh, live trading videos, and those things which I have shown you in my deep explanation video. If you think that it would be easy, then you are wrong. Yes, you have to study those things. You have to practice those things. Yes, but you see, you you don't need even to switch on your brain. You have only to understand this kind of things and then you can use it. So let me show you this. This is what I'm going to show you was this one about the EMAs. So strong trend, much more the distance between the middle Bollinger Band and the 20 SMA, much stronger the trend. I don't know what a lot of my students and what of my audience is doing, yes, but most of them are sleeping, yes, because they do not understand what the 20 SMA and the 20 EMA is telling you. And I will show you now what I, this kind of concept is about. So I will have to do this a little bit more fast because uh, at the end this video will be again uh, um, uh, a six hour converting marathon and that is really uh, annoying. So let me show you. So we have here, this is the 20 um, SMA. Here we have the 20 EMA. So what is this concept telling you? When we are here at the biggest distance between the 20 EMA and the 20 SMA, we have the strongest trend. We have the peak of the trend. So let me show you this. Here we have the peak of the trend. Yes, here we have the peak. Here the, the distance is strongest. That means we have uptrend, yes, because this, this we have here still uptrend. So what happens here? We Here in the 20 SMA and the 20 EMA is getting closer together. What does this mean? The trend is losing momentum. That is the sign that this will here happen in what? Exactly a reversal. So what do we have here? We have here a lot of confluence. We have here the resistance level. Level. We have here the resistance level. We have here uh, the resistance level confirmed through, through the Bollinger Band. And let me see if I can show you here with the Fibonacci level that we have here also uh, some kind of Fibonacci level which is reliable. You see here, yes, here we have the Fibonacci level, the 261.8 Fibonacci level. So, who is not doing a put here? Some this this one trader who is not doing a put in this kind of condition has to search another profession. Yes, because th this guy has to leave the market immediately and doing some other job. Because who is not understanding that this is a reversal point has lost already everything. Yes, and uh, better if he lose uh, in search of some other profession. Only to make this clear to you. Yes, I have done this now here in front of you and explain to you how it works. Then. It is not enough that you know that there will be a reversal point. Yes, it's also important then to apply some more concepts. And that concepts are, uh, first of all, here ranging market. You see flat EMAs. I have done this with the 200, the purple one, yes, the 100. So if you see here the flat 200 EMA, what does this mean? This means we are here in the overall ranging market yes we are still in a ranging market so we are not into a major uptrend we are in ranging market we have a, a mini uptrend and that is makes this trade here this reversal trade much more reliable yes that makes it much more probably that this will be a reversal because we have a flat 200 ema okay only to make this again clear so we have confluence we have understood that uh, the trend is losing momentum <clears throat> 
they are uh, losing steam because the EMAs and the SMA is getting closer together. Here was the strongest part of the trend and that is the reason why we got here a pullback. Yes, and now the trend is losing momentum and now price will most probably reverse. After this, we have this kind of concept which a lot of traders are always forgetting and that makes me angry. So this kind of concept where I talk about resistance and support level based on candlestick patterns. So if you look this candle, it's only an inverted bullish hammer. Yes, but this inverted bullish hammer. Yes, uh, let me see. It was not only this kind of concept. That was the can that was the concept about how wicks are in the position of a trend. Uh, but I took this kind of images from this one here. Let me this one here. Yes, it's the same. You see here. This is the same inverted bearish. Um, inverted hammer showing you with the upper shadow the resistance. Yes, the lower shadow is showing you support. So, and now it get again into this kind of image here. So, this is showing resistance. This is showing support. So, what can you do? There are two probabilities depending on the running candle here. If the running candle is going up and is getting a rejection from the 261.8, you do a put. Yes, that is this one. And that is the most reliable thing. Yes, that is what I would do. Yes, in this case, waiting that price goes up, get a rejection from this uh, 261.8 Fibonacci level. Yes, and this resistance and doing a put. Why? Because this week is showing selling pressure. This week was showing buying pressure. Candle moved up, moved down. Yes, moved up again. Yes, but uh, still didn't broke the resistance. What does this mean? That this resistance is still pro um, um, uh, active. It's now a, a major support and resistance. That is this concept here about the major support and resistance levels. Let me show you this so that uh, I can uh, so that I don't get always the question what uh, what concept here, what concept there. So that is the Fibonacci stuff. Wait. That can be also applied here, Fibonacci concept, yes, where because I have um, applied here the Fibonacci extension, yes, you see how many concepts, yes, you have, a little, you have only a small part of a chart and you have at least 15 concepts. And then there come uh, some traders, uh, how is the strategy is working? How are the settings of the EMA, of the Bollinger Band and the EMAs? Who the hmm? cares about the Bollinger Band and the EMAs if you do not know the most important concepts. Yes, those concepts which I'm talking about here. So let me get this more in detail because I'm, I'm doing this. Yes, I'm doing this so that you understand that when I'm showing you in a few minutes that trades which I have done, that it's not only explained in this few things which I'm mostly trying to cover in this video. This videos will be almost always one hour long. Yes, one hour of explanation and I'm trying only to cover the most important parts of my trading. Yes, I cannot cover you everything. I cannot show you every so every time each and every concept of the ebook. Yes, you have to watch the ebook, you have to study this ebook, you have to praise this ebook. Yes, you have to uh, preach it. Yes, so you have to try to get this um, in your head like uh, um, yes, like every kind of concept in your head prepared when you are trading. So, what uh, kind of concept I'm talking about. I'm talking about this kind of concept about the entry points. Yes, how to identify entry points, how to find entry points, when to enter into a trade. I have so many students who are giving a about this kind of concept and that makes me angry. Yes, it makes me upset because I'm thinking what the hell are they doing? Yes, that is an insult. When they are not trying to get a good entry point, if you are not trying to get a good entry point, stop trading and go working somewhere. Yes, do some kind of stupid job for out there. Yes, because you deserve it. Because if you are not under to understand that you have to get a good entry point. Yes, then I don't all know what it is. It's like the same thing like you would um, do the, um, for example, you would do uh, some kind of uh, uh, skydiving. Yes, you would do skydiving without parachute. You understand what I mean? Yes. Would you try doing skydiving without a parachute? No, because you would die. So here, if you don't try to get a good entry point based on those concepts, how to identify entry points and how to find entry points, 
you will lose money so easy yes if you are not applying this kind of concept you will lose money what does this concept mean this concept mean if you have a support and resistance level which can be everything um bollinger band uh trend lines um horizontal lines um fibonacci levels and so on and so on you have to apply this kind of concept and if you are having the price action guide you have to watch the videos to understand what this exactly means if you have the price action bible you get this on the spilver spoon then you know exactly what you have to do so what does this say that says if you have a support and resistance level and you want to do a put yes if you want to do a put then you had to enter above the closing uh, above the support and resistance into the trade yes and that is this these are the concepts you have to uh, enter above the above the closing price of the previous candle yes or the four last candle um, or here you have to enter above the closing price or above the neckline of this chart pattern here you have to enter above the consolidation area or the key level yes and here you have to enter above the key level if you want to do a put yes and what does this mean that means that you have to do where you trade here you have to try to enter above this level here above this level into the trade and if you don't get this entry point yes uh, then you don't trade so easy yes and that is what makes the difference between a pro trader and a noob yes a noob enters immediately because he believes that price will reverse immediately but the problem is that here everything can happen yes the next candle can be another doji yes and if you are not entering above this key level yes or the price is not giving you this yes then they will lose this so that was the next and you have seen i have explained now a lot of concepts and then we are getting to the last concept which was uh, also important uh, to get this done here to make this trade good yes is this concept how to predict the running candles predicting the direction of the running candle so it's not enough only to understand what the chart is telling you that can be most uh, reliable when you are doing um, longer time frame trades <clears throat> yes but in general you have to understand that you have to read if you are doing one minute trades you have the advantage of uh, reading the running candle yes because on higher time frame it's not so easy to understand the running candle because you have to stay maybe on the four time four hour time frame one hour or two hours in front of the chart to see how the candle is moving yes that is not so uh, not so easy but on the binary option turbo trading you have this advantage and you have to use this what does this mean this means if the price is moving in purchase time down yes then i will most probably not doing a put why because i need that price goes in per case time the up getting a rejection from the 261.8 fibonacci level in conclusion with this kind of resistance level yes and uh, and on the expiration time where you cannot act anymore price has to go down because this week is showing selling pressure yes and that is what this video is about yes i will show you now um, in detail what this kind of things are telling you this week because i got so many questions and always yes where uh, what does the weeks mean uh, what um, uh, what uh, influence has the uh, trend yes so this uh, like I have explained, yes, this next candle will be a bearish candle with a really high probability and I have explained to you now exactly why. Because I have applied 10 to 15 different concepts which I have applied here in this kind of chart, yes, to understand what the next candle will be and it's not enough yes it's not only enough that you say yes we have here selling pressure yes you need more you need mostly the four keys yes the trend the key level the candlestick pattern and the rejection and i have covered all four things in this kind of setup so for the prediction of the next candle that are the next candle which you should trade you should not trade something here in a consolidation area here in the consolidation area i have explained this also you can apply this kind of uh, concept yes this kind of concept here let me show you this one here consolidation area yes if you want to do a put you have to enter above the um, uh, support and resistance level the consolidation area if you want to call a do call you need to enter below the consolidation area that means in this kind of area you do puts yes and you see put put 
And here in this kind of area, you do calls, call, call, call. So easy, yes. It's, this is what this is about. I don't know what most of the traders are doing all the time, yes, but they are not applying the concepts. And then they are asking why I lost this trade, why I lost this trade, yes, why it was a green candle, why it got uh, up. Yes, why it can't get down. Yes, that is because you are not able to apply those concepts which I have brought you on the silver spoon in the ebooks. Yes, in my price action guide and the price action Bible, which you can find all in the description. There is a link to it. Yes, and if you are not willing to spend this small amount of money for those ebooks, yes, then you don't even deserve to make money. That is my opinion. Yes, because uh, if you are not willing to invest yourself, who wants to invest you in you yes and I, I tell you something yes uh, that is so uh, it is so um, small amount yes you have much more loss already and when I get emails from anybody and he wants my ebook uh, for free because he have lost already so much money what do you know what I'm doing I'm not even a reply to those kind of emails and I tell you why because those one who have lost money and a lot of money and are not willing to spend a small amount for the ebooks. Yes, they don't even reserve uh, any kind of reply. I'm a good guy. Yes, I get this all. I get so many emails that uh, so many people say that I'm a good guy. But I'm not stupid. Yes, I'm not stupid, and I will not uh, feed a monkey. Yes, uh, you can. You you have to feed yourself, and you have to see that you get done the, the, the things by your own. Yes, I'm giving already all my knowledge to you, and you have to do this. What you have to do. Yes, and, uh, and that makes me upset. And I want. I don't want this kind of emails. Yes, where I get um, uh, asked for the ebook, or I get uh, asked to get into the bot mentorship program for free, or uh, some other kind of questions. We are not here um, uh, in some kind of uh, how can I say this? Uh, in life, nothing is for free. Not even the life yes because it costs the death oh wait, wait, wait the death yes it's not even for free because it costs the life so, so, so like this that makes me upset and you see how emotionally i get because that is what the this uh, reason why this world is going down yes because people are not uh, um, um, not uh, um, understanding what is a good investment yes um, instead they are trying to get everything easy and uh, um, and fast and that makes me upset. So, okay, I have explained now in this kind of concepts uh, how you can predict the next candle. Yes, how you understand uh, the wick trading. Yes, that is um, uh, in this kind of small example. And now we are getting um, to uh, the other topic which I have to talk about the ebooks because I get so often the question uh, what the difference are. Always the same. Yes, um, if, the need of, if you need both of the ebooks and those kind of questions. And this is what we are going to cover. Important is that I want to show you here how you apply those kind of concepts which I have explained in the ebooks on the live chart uh, to understand the next candle. Yes, and how you have to trade the next candle. It's not enough that you understand that there is a resistance. You have to understand that that you have to get a good entry point. You have to understand that you have to observe the running candle uh, to see that the movements are right, that the price is going up, then down. Yes, I have done this ebooks here not for fun. Yes, this is not done uh, because I want to make money. This was done because I have shared this ebook for free for a long time. That was to educate you. Yes, and if you are not understanding this, I cannot help you. Yes, this is your problem then. And uh, but make it not my problem. I, it's not my fault. Yes? Yes? If you are not able to understand this, it's not my fault that you are not able to purchase it. But you are able to waste your money trading and don't understanding anything. And that is the reason why, why I get upset. But anyway, I'm doing my job here. Yes, I'm trying to educate you anyway because that is what I want to do from the beginning when I started my YouTube channel. But uh, don't make me responsible for your losing. Yes, because that is why I do not answer. I do not answer on your questions. I I do not I reply to your emails because I have no time to waste. You can waste your time with other stuff, yes, but don't waste my time with asking me such kind of questions. Okay, so uh, we get now again to the ebook. So the difference between the price action guide and the price action bible, yes. First of all, it's uh, like this that both has the same content. 
Yes, exactly. They have the same content. That means you don't need both ebooks. Yes, you don't need to buy the price action guide and the price action Bible because I get this question over and over again. You need only one of them, and which kind of them you need is depending on you. Yes, and depends from this what you are understanding from those videos which I'm doing. If you have a good understanding of the videos and you have time to watch my videos yes and you watch them all that are nearly 940 videos yes if you have the time to watch them all and you need to watch them all because each and every video has knowledge it's not like uh, those other videos from some scammers or something who are showing you every uh, week or every two days a new strategy um, uh, based on indicator or uh, showing you uh, only their trades no Every video of which I have uploaded in the last year has knowledge and you will um, be surprised how much knowledge I have compressed in each and every video that are mostly three minutes videos yes, or five minutes videos. I'm doing fast trades, but each and every trade which I have done is explained in detail. And anyway, I get always the same questions. Why did you took this trade? Can you please explain this much more further? Please do me the favor yes when i have started i had nobody yes and i had to go through this on my own please do this also because you have to take action it cannot be that you want everything on the silver spoon you will not improve if you are doing this so and then uh, the problem is you are wasting only time of others yes but it's your life and so take your action so again to it's now we're coming to the to the ebook again and the difference between the price action guide and the price action Bible. First of all, obviously, uh, the content. It's the same content because the illustrations which I have in the price action guide, that is this one here, yes, the illustrations that are those one here, these illustrations are also in the price action Bible, yes. That means you have, if you have the price action Bible, you have also the price action guide. If you have the price action guide, you don't have the price action Bible because the price action Bible has other content. Yes, it has much more content, much more detailed content explained in simple English. Yes, it's not complicated. I'm working at the moment at the tra translation, um, um, how to translate the price action Bible in other languages for those one who are not able to understand the simple English. It's not a complicated English. It's a simple English. Yes, um, but you see that are 100, 120 pages of illustrations. In general, it's this what I have here. Yes, look at this. This one here, you see illustrations, illustrations, short illustrations, and you have to watch the videos to understand each and every concepts which I have explained here. Here you need to watch the videos, yes. If you have the time to watch the videos, you can get the price action guide and then you can watch the videos, yes. That is uh, possible, then the next thing is can, can you make. But you need obviously to understand my accent because I get a lot of emails where they tell me, please, uh, you, I cannot understand your accent, yes, uh, because uh, of my weak English. Uh, English and my English is also not very good yet and I can only say those few words which I'm using here each and every time yes that should be the um, standard glossary yes of that what you should know about the English language when you are trading uh, because uh, it's uh, evening star will be evening star if it's in German if it's in French if it's in Italian yes evening star is an evening star and you should know what an evening star is because you cannot rely only on one uh, source of information you have to get more sources of information I'm giving you already the right direction the right path yes with all my concepts uh, but obviously I cannot cover all each and everything yes it's uh, obviously because else I could not uh, would not even sell the book for this less amount yes it's it's a gift it's like uh, I would give it for free yes so that is this and then they're coming um, uh, traders and I see also in the Facebook group um, people asking to, uh, that they get this ebook if you cannot afford this ebook you have not to trade because you have not the money and uh, i tell you this in every each and every video if you are not uh, uh, able to afford this then you don't have to trade so easy 
Yes, uh, and that makes me angry. If people are trading and they do not have the money, because they will only blow the money, their accounts, they will lose their money. Yes, and if they are not even to invest in their edu education, they will lose also much more. Yes, and making uh, bigger, getting in big trouble. And that's the reason why I am not educating people who have debt and so on, because they are only getting in deeper debt because of the psychology. So okay, that was this one. So again, coming, we, we come. Uh, Again, this is the price action guide. This price action guide has almost illustrations. You see illustrations, yes, illustrations, illustrations, illustrations. Here, that is from one of my uh, students who told me that he uploaded this screenshot. That is one of my students, which was uh, one of the best ones, which I have still a good contact. This guy uh, was watching my video, yes, was. Why watching my video was uh, understanding and uh, uh, reading the ebook? Yes, and that he told me that is the way how you have to do this. Yes, and here you see another one who was, is on the Facebook group. Yes, this is a this is a really junkie. Yes, because he is a, on the Facebook group watching the videos, watching the ebook, trading, and then printing everything on the board. Yes, to have them all um, um, uh, on the on the view. Yes, but I say. You have to try to cover one by one, right? because if you have them all there, how do you want to distinguish everything, each and everything? Yes, that is not the way. You have to memorize them. You have to learn those kinds of things, which I have explained in the ebook. And if you understand one of those concepts, how to trade the candlestick, you will understand every each and everything. So, and the last one you see here, another student who uh, who has printed this too. Yes, and all the illustration, one hundred twenty pages yes that is what the price action guide is about knowledge 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 about price action which you get nowhere else not only for binary options for every kind of financial instrument and then concepts which can be used for forex digital options ethics options and uh, um, and stock market and cryptocurrencies for everything this is uh, the knowledge which you need yes and i would not tell you this if i would not believe in this yes because this uh, was created by you and me while i was doing this videos to educate you yes if i would have not done this educational videos when i was doing them this ebook would have never created and i have given this ebook for free to help Yes, but it was abused. I got abused. The ebook e got abused from everybody. Yes, they used pages from me to scam other people. They used pages from my ebook to sell them apart. Yes, to make their business much more reliable, more more valuable. Yes, and that's the reason why I have to ask this money. Yes, because I have to protect my work. So easy. And when I get people who want this for free, I get crazy. Yes, because I'm thinking they are not even worth of it. So then. Another. Then we are getting about the price action Bible. The price action Bible is not is a content. In the price action Bible, there is also the content of the price action guide, but it's not 120 pages. There are 270 pages. Yes, there are 270 pages of concepts explained in detail in simple English. Yes, you don't need even big English. You can use a translator. Yes, uh, you get uh, the sentences. Yes, and then you uh, translate them in the Google Translator and then you get it because the English is so simple. Yes, and like I told you before, you should to know some glossary. Yes, you should know what the consolidation area is. You should know what the evening star is. You should know what the shooting star is. Yes, you should know what the doji is if you don't know this you will lose because that are the basics every trader starts with this as long as you don't know what a doji evening star morning star is you are already still on the wrong way you are watching some kind of stupid scammer videos of indicator if the indicator is in the overboard area above the 70 yes we have an awesome moment call something like this yes and that is as long as you believe in this you will be losing money so easy that will be no uh, help for you yes and i'm not willing to help those guys who are still in this kind of stage where they are still believing that there would be some kind of strategy which will be the holy grail it doesn't exist the holy grail is the price action bible 
This price action Bible attests not only the name Bible, it's the Holy Grail, yes, because this Bible contains that what you should know. What you should know, 270 pages, and you see, you have the illustrations, like on the price action guide, but you get here explanations in text. Text. This guy has um, printed it, but you get it as a PDF file, so you can uh, copy and paste this in the Google Translator, and then you get the explanation. And you see here how it's uh, uh, byte up. Yes, it's easy. I will show you this in an example. You see here what you have to care about. You see this uh, uh, triangle, alert triangle. Then how to trade the criteria, the psychology. Yes, uh, how to uh, what the kind of support and resistance level you can based on the candlestick pattern and how um, and uh, some some more. What I don't know what it is. Let me see. Yes, here criteria, candle pattern, psychology, support and resistance, entry point. Exactly the most important things. Those four keys which I'm talking all the time. Yes, the trends, the key level, candlestick pattern and the chart and the rejection that are here explained and you see here that is price action guide and then you get each and every pattern in this case it was this one yes explained how you have to trade that is the difference between the price action guide and the price action bible Yes, the price action Bible is green, uh, is, is white, sorry, is green, is white, and uh, the price action guide is black. So then we get to the next topic, and the next topic is uh, that are the video packs, the self study module. I get almost a question is the self study modules, are that um, um, an alternative to the bot mentorship program? I can say it's an alternative to the bot mentorship program if you are not able to join the bot mentorship program. At the end, the, I don't know what reasons there could be, yes, because I have so many uh, students who are losing money all the time, but they are not joining the bot mentorship program. I don't know why. Uh, maybe um, uh, they cannot afford the price. I don't know what it is, yes, but I can say only the price is affordable, yes, and it will be much more in the future. Uh, you have to enter into the application process as soon as possible. And how do you join the application process? By sending me an email to botobotrader at gmail.com and with the subject bot mentorship program. If, but if you have not the time, if you have not the money, and if you um, uh, have not um, the will or any kind of other reason why you don't want to, or you got rejected from me, can be also, yes, then the video packs are an alternative and all those one who have bought my video packs improved their trading. It's a guarantee, yes, because you get instant access to my core knowledge gained in years of experience. You have not to watch hours and hours of videos to understand those concepts. You watch those things which I have explained in the video pack. And if you have, uh, you are using this in combination with the price action guide or the price action Bible, you will get also profitable. Yes, I don't know if you get consistently profitable because that depends also from the discipline and from your patience. Yes, but the knowledge you get here, the core knowledge gained in years of experience that can nobody give to you because that is based on those kind of trades which I have done my uh, students and I'm explaining them. And those videos were those videos which I have done from those kind of students which got released from my bot mentorship program as successful profitable trader. So you are doing the same way. Yes, and we have video pack one for the beginner, video pack two for the um, moderate ones, may video pack three for the advanced, advanced ones, yes, and video pack four for the uh, pros, yes, for those one who got released before they got released from the bot mentorship program. So you get step by step in the direction of a successful profitable trader, yes, uh, and you get the core knowledge. And important here is also that those who have bought the video pack one, bought the video pack two, video pack three, and video pack four, because they understood how valuable this content is. You will find these videos nowhere. That are not those kind of videos which I have done on my YouTube channel. They are completely different. They are bringing the trades on the top, on the on the on the point. Yes, and I'm telling you in this video exactly what good trades are, what bad trades are. Yes, what trades you should avoid, what trades you have to find. Yes, based 
on price action and not on uh, any kind of uh, strategies. Yes, there is no strategies. It's price action. We do here price action trading. Yes, we are doing here price action pattern trading. Yes, and, uh, uh, and not any kind of strategies which are based on anything. Yes, uh, we are doing here only price action. And so you can use this kind of stuff uh, on any kind of broker. I have students with all kind of brokers yes uh, i have uh, uh, students which are trading every kind of financial instrument forex digital option fx options binary options yes cryptocurrencies and and so on and so on because those content is for each and everything yes this is the ultimate and uh, um, ultimate uh, information knowledge which you need to su success succeed in every kind of market uh, and every kind of financial instruments. So that was the video packs. I think I have this, uh, clarified this. For those one who are really a little bit slow, yes, this video pack can be found also like the price action guide yes, and the price action bible yes, in the description of each and every video. So you have to take the time, you have to go to the description of the video and you have to scroll down. And there you will find the link to the video packs, you will find the link to the ebooks, you will find the link and the email address to swipe me to get into the bot mentorship program. And that is now the last topic, the bot mentorship program. What's the topic, what kind of question I get almost from the bot mentorship program is this. Uh, please tell me the price of the bot mentorship program. And I can tell you only, there is no fixed price, yes? Because they think they pay me a price and they get into the bot mentorship program. They think they, they came, they come and they tell me they want to enter in the bot mentorship program and they buy the bot mentorship program. That is not the way. There is no way to get immediately into the bot mentorship program. And that is the most uh, common problem and the most common mistake. Yes, you have to go through the application process. And I will show you this again so that you understand that you have to hurry because I will stop soon. I will stop soon with the bot mentorship program. So try to get into this application process as soon as possible because after this you will most probably not anymore educated by myself by me yes because i will stop soon i don't know how i can tell you this more clear than this yes but you have to get your feet into the bot mentorship program because i will not do this forever only that you know this yes because that is not my main uh, my main business my main business i'm a, pro a professional trader you see uh, at the top uh, left uh, top right angle my pro sign i'm a pro trader that means i'm trading i don't want to do this all my time I'm, I'm investing now my time to get my bot mentors, yes, and that is everything what I want to do, yes, and that's the reason why I'm doing this. I will stop soon, so if you want to uh, get educated by me, first of all, those one who get graduated should um, join now the bot mentorship program if they pass through the application process and the other ones should try to get their feet into the application process so that they are already into it and then they can be educated by myself too yes because i will soon stop and that is important so what will this mean that is first of all the benefits of the bot mentorship program then this is the application process and uh, the most of you do not understand this because i got almost the same questions because they want to enter immediately they want they think it's like everything yes that they can they pay and they get into it like every other is doing this but no you have to go through these steps and i can tell you the first three questions i ask in always yes and everybody has to answer us three are you willing to invest time are you willing to invest money? And the third question, are you willing to dedicate yourself? And you know what 99, 99, 100% of those one who are studying the application process will answer? They will say yes, yes, and yes. And then tell me why only 5% of those one who start the application process get through the application process. I can tell you this. This is how to distinguish the boons from the pros. That is why this application process is so successful. It's so successful because this is a prevention for me to protect myself 
to waste my money with students which are not worth it. And it's a protection for you that you know that it's better to search uh, some other job. Yes, if you are not getting through the application process, it's better that you search another job. Yes, they're so easy because if you are not willing to dedicate your time, if you are not willing to dedicate money, and if you are not willing to dedicate your yourself, yes, then this is not the right profession from you. Then you want, you can want as much money you want. You will not get money. So easy. That is the reality. I have to be so, so rough, yes, because some of you do not understand this. And uh, I have to clear, tell, talk clear here because at the end it's a protection for you. I, and I tell you this only um, to, uh, for you, yes, and to make this uh, more clear to you the decision that uh, profession is not for everyone. So if you are getting through the application process, yes, then try to join the bot mentorship program as soon as possible, yes, because I will stop soon. And and that is what I can tell you. And if you are not entering or you have not enrolled the application process, then start immediately by sending me an email, boturbotrader at gmail.com with the subject bot mentorship program. So uh, the problem is that the video is already getting so long, I had to cut this, but I would say I will uh, do this anyway and it doesn't matter. Maybe it will be converted tomorrow morning. Yes, I don't know, but I will have to uh, do this now because it's important. We are talking here about our understanding Wix in trading, price action trading, price action patterns, candlestick psychology. So, and here we have the preparation. I have prepared it. So, and um, I will do this here on the naked chart. But if you want the live chart, you can go to the description. There is a link to my Instagram account with the posting of this chart. Or if you need a better resolution picture, you can send me an email with the, um, with the subject chart 5. Yes, then you get this kind of live chart so that you can uh, watch it in um, how it works. So um, I have prepared here already something. We are coming here from a downtrend. We got this kind of setup here. Uh, those one who know my price action Bible and my price action guide know that this is a no rejection trading setup. And that was also the reason why I entered immediately on the next candle into a call and wait. Um, I will show you this. One second, I have to stop the video. Okay, I didn't stop the video. Let me uh, search the no rejection trading setup so that you can see this. Uh, so where do we have it? Because like I told you before, there are so many who want to see each and every concept uh, explained. And I will show you this. So let me see where we have this no rejection trading setup. Um, which I'm talking here about. So no rejection trading setups are almost here. Let me see where do they, uh, I don't know where they are. I think uh, we are losing here too much money. Uh, no, not too much money, too much time. So let me see if I can find them. Okay, I cannot find them. So I would say um, yes here. So no rejection trading setups. And here we have it. And exactly, look at this. Down, down, yes, this candle, next candle, bullish. Yes, that is what, this is what I'm expecting here. Yes, and that's the reason why I entered here into a call because of this no rejection trading setup. So, what do we have here? Bearish, bearish, yes, bullish. So, the next candle is a call for me. I have done a call. Let me show you this. So, why did I do a call here? First of all, because of the no rejection trading setup, which I have shown you before, yes. And then, obviously, because of this week. This week was showing in this kind of scenario buying pressure, yes. And uh, that because we got here this kind of reversal, yes, on the round number, yes. And that was the reason why I entered on the next candle into a call no rejection trading setup yes after a downtrend after uh, with this kind of upper shadow which is showing buying pressure so this candle here the next candle yes this candle here didn't broke the resistance i have explained this concepts too uh, before yes you know the upper shadow of a hammer and uh, every other candlestick is a resistance this resistance got not broken that means what exactly that this is only some kind of inside bar yes it's not an engulfing candle this candle will not uh, most probably not uh, be uh, initiate in a reversal so the next candle ha which happened was this so that was the next candle. 
Yes, and that is again a no rejection trading setup. The next trade would be here. You do a put option on the rejection from this level here, from this round number or close to the round number, mostly from this lower shadow here. If you would get it, yes, because we are in a minute downtrend. We got here the no rejection trading setup. I have not done this trade. I traded only this one here. After this, I didn't trade it. This one, because this was also showing buying pressure, we are too close to this support and resistance level. So I was not sure. And so I didn't trade the next candle, but the next candle was this. So that was the next candle. Uh, after this candle, I would have done a call. Yes, but I didn't trade this next candle because I was not sure because of this uh, doji. Yes, so I waited to get much uh, better insight, waiting for the next candle to see if it will be now a continuation or not because this candle was creating a lower low. You see this uh, lower shadow is showing here lower low. And so I was not sure what happening here. And uh, I don't want to risk a trade breakout at this point. So I didn't trade it. And the next candle was this. So that was the next candle. Yes. And after this candle, yes, I entered into a call. Yes. Because now I was sure that it was a fake breakout. This candle didn't continue to going down um, because uh, uh, I was expecting this because of this lower shadow, which was showing lower low. Yes. And so I was sure that now we are getting here some kind of fake breakout. And I entered on the next candle. Yes. I entered on the next candle into a call. So let me draw this. So that was the next candle. So on the next candle, because it was such a kind of huge candle, I didn't enter into a call again. Yes, because uh, and not even into a put because I was not sure because this week here was showing selling pressure. Yes, as uh, a lower shadow here was uh, showing only a few of uh, buying pressure. I was not sure what's happening. This candle was pretty much too big. Then we got here a nice uh, uh, retracement level, which uh, I would not have entered in, in any kind of case so I waited for the next candlestick and the next candlestick was this so this candle uh, has shown me yes that we are now here in some kind of consolidation area this candle didn't broke the upper shadow of this so I was pretty much sure that now will happen the process of elimination let me show you this so that the process of elimination would be active let me show you this where do I have this process of elimination that was this one here. Yes, so we got here this kind of candle here, bullish Morobozo or something like this. You see, it's only the concept. It's not uh, each and every kind of candlestick which look, but this is the concept, yes. We get a bullish candle, then we got a weak candle. It can be with the upper shadow, it can, can be with the lower shadow. It doesn't matter, I have done this in gray. Yes, and this one, because it doesn't continue to going up strongly, it means that we get here now into a reversal. Yes, and that's the reason why I'm entering on the next candle into a put. But how exactly? I try to get an entry point above the closing price of the previous candle and that means somewhere here. So I wait that price going to touch some key level, in this case this kind of level here, yes, and then I would enter into a trend continuation. That should be the movement of the purchase time as the expiration time. I have explained this at the beginning, up and then down. And the next candle was this. So that was the next candle. Yes, we are still in this kind of consolidation area. So I didn't use this evening star to do a put option on the next candle. Yes, because we have a consolidation area and the next candle was this. So and after this candle, because that is also one of those concepts which I have explained in my ebook, I have entered what exactly into a trend continuation because this week here is showing selling pressure yes and that was a trend continuation we retraced exactly to this key level yes and this candle didn't broke this key level here based on this lower shadow that is what i'm telling almost my students all my audience and um, all my videos yes and that's the reason why i entered on the next candle from above the closing price into a put from any kind of rejection from any kind of key level so let me show you this concept because so you see how valuable this ebook is yes the price action guide and also the price action bible you see we have here the evening star and you see it's this one it's a concept we have here an evening star doji star concept evening star 
uh, weak candle which will trace back to this level or this level and then the trend will continue most probable if you have an upper shadow yes but if you have a lower shadow which is long it's the same like we would have an upper shadow. I have explained this almost often. The pressure is coming then from the opposite side and that means that your trade will most probably in your favor. Yes, as you see this week is ultra long. That means we have selling pressure. Yes, and, that's the, and we have also the initiation of an evening star which is showing the, that we get into a minor downtrend. Yes, and the next candle was this. So, and then after this, I have not traded the next one and the next candle was this. So the next one, I didn't trade it too. Yes, and the next one was this. So the next one, I didn't also not trade it. Yes, because we were here in some kind of consolidation area. I was not sure what happens. Yes, and um, I have done already four trades. So I was uh, pretty calm and relaxed and waiting for a better opportunity and then uh, came up this kind of candle so this candle would have mostly tricked a lot of traders because they would think that price would go now into an uptrend yes but uh, i was sure that we are here in a consolidation area yes because you see how the price is moving here so uh, far away from the two deviation bollinger band yes because if you have this kind of ranging yes then you can expect that you are in a consolidation area so i didn't trade the next candle yes um, because this candle didn't broke the upper shadow so it was not clear it looked more like a selling pressure here because else this candle would have broken this area level yes also if it would broken only the high higher high but it has not done this and so the next candle was this so and after this candle i entered into a put yes because that was a clear sign for me that we have there is still a resistance level here great resistance level and so i entered on the next candle into a put and that was the candle because this candle was showing me again selling pressure we got here something what looks like a process of elimination this candle would show buying pressure but we got here resistance price was not able to break through it and so i used the process of elimination again and that was what happened so and after this i waited yes because this candle was pretty much too weak to enter into a trade after this yes so i waited for the next candle yes and the next candle was this so and after this yes i have seen that we got here some kind of double top yes here double top and then i entered on the next candle on the rejection from above from this level here into a put yes and the next candle was this so and that was nearly that was the last trade so let me do the last two candles which i didn't trade it so to uh, to complicate to complete this so that was the next candle and after this i have done uh, well, that candle was the next one so and important is here everybody would have thought that this would be most probably a fake breakout because yes i would have thought also it would be a fake breakout here yes because this kind of wick here has broken this area a little bit more so it would show in buying pressure but the important thing was but something else that we got here below the 200 ema which you cannot see and that was the reason because the 200 ema has pulled this kind of candle marabozo candlestick in that direction else it would have been a fake breakout and price would continue to range so that was it yes i hope you have uh, got a good understanding uh, how wicks are used in trading yes understanding wicks in trading price action trading price action patterns you have seen uh, how uh, end candlestick psychology at its best so i would say that was it if you like this video do a like if you didn't subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel and if you have something to say drop me a line in the comment section and if you need this chart okay i have to show you this chart here because somebody asked me that i please show this chart at the end of the video here is the chart so that is the chart and my trades were this one here uh, this trade you see here the confluence between the round number the 100 ema and the no rejection trading setup this candle then i traded this candle the fake breakout of this round number in combination with the 100 ema here yes then i traded this here from above to below in a downtrend yes um, from the rejection from the 50 and the 20 
uh, after this candle of the process of elimination. Yes, then I traded this one here, which was a retracement. You see to this level here, and this lower shadow was showing selling pressure. So I entered above the closing price into a put. Then I waited a few minutes, and here I traded the pullback from the 20 EMA and the 50 EMA after this candle was showing me that we got again here an evening star forming, a process of elimination because this candle was showing buying pressure but because we have here support and resistance I avoided to do a trend continuation after this because we got here also a Bollinger squeeze yes and after this I entered here and broken of the neckline here the neckline was broken you see and that was the reason why I entered here uh, on the rejection from this neckline here, you see also the flat one deviation Bollinger band, which is showing the resistance, put option on resistance in a downtrend. And this kind of fake breakout of this road number didn't work out because you see here below the 200 EMA, which I was talking about. Yes, if you need the chart, send me an email to Botobo Trader with chart 5 or in the description you find the link to the Instagram account with this posting of this uh, chart. So that was it. I would say stay safe and bye-bye.